Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you this 150 watt wall pack high pressure sodium fixture. Uh, first I'll go ahead and take the cover off, I'll show you the inside. Alright, so here's the bulb. The bulb's medium base and um, it's made by Polar Lights. It's a very good bulb. All right, set that right there. Um, this uh, this this uh metal cover comes off too. The ballast and everything's inside there. Uh, so before I get to turning this thing on, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and kind of explain a problem I've been having with this fixture. Um, if you want to get to the part where I turn this thing on, you can just skip ahead. So let me let me take this cover off first. It's just held on by these two screws. This might take a minute. Okay. So here's the inside. Uh, what I originally wanted to do with this fixture is put a mogul base socket on here and put a, a bigger bulb inside of it so it can hold a bigger bulb. And the reason for that is because uh, since this fixture is really big for a medium base bulb, I decided the bigger bulb would kind of be more in the center, I guess. And it would look a little bit more even. Uh, so I kind of wanted to change that. So I took this, I took this part out, or this lamp holder out, and replaced it with a mogul base lamp holder. Um, and when I did that, I put a, I put a brand new bulb in, a bigger bulb in, and it's, and this is the same wattage. The bulb was the same wattage as this one here. So I, I figured it would work, but when I turned it on, when I when I wired up everything and turned it on, uh, the bulb didn't come on for some reason. The ballast was humming, and so I knew I knew the thing was hooked up right, but the bulb just wouldn't come on. It wasn't, it just didn't do anything. So I, I don't know what the problem was, but um, I'll go ahead and show you how this thing's wired up real quick. Um, here's the, here's the cord coming in, of course you got the black wire, the hot wire right here, um, and that's connected to this, ba the ballast here, and then this red wire, uh, there's a bunch of stuff right here, but the red wire, um, goes to the igniter, which is this right here, And of course, this blue wire is also connected to the to the igniter. And then the red wire, these two red wires, which are from the igniter and the ballast, are both connected to the black wire to the socket. And then the the white wire, which is the common wire, um, is connected to these two white wires, which are from the igniter, and then back to this this cord over here. So. When I had replaced the socket, uh, I didn't change anything with the wiring. I, I put it exactly the way this socket was installed. So I don't know what the problem was, but I'm sure somebody knows. So anyway, I, I, I eventually gave up on it. I decided just to keep this socket in here just because it works the same way. So I'll go and put this back on and. We'll go ahead and start to turn this, get ready to turn this thing on. This might take a minute to get these screws in here. Thank you. 
All right. Um, make sure this is tight back here. Sometimes this, this thing comes loose. Okay, I think that's in there. Um. All right, so I'll put the cover back on. Well, first I need to put the bulb in. All right, let's go ahead and put the cover back on. Very nice. And let's get to turning this thing on. All right, here we go. Oops. Yeah, all right, here we go. Alright, so that's about it. Thanks for watching.